Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have another brand new G-Shock. I just got this one today uh, in the mail from Amazon. Of course, I'll have links to it down below if you wanna check it out. Uh, but this one is the Casio G-Shock G-Lide or G-L-I-D-E GWX 5600C hyphen 7JF. So this is a Japanese domestic market product, which means it is not sold in the US unless someone imports it, which means the instruction manual and everything is in Japanese. Luckily, there's a few videos online uh, going over how to use this, uh, but you'll definitely want a video on how to set up the tide and the moon because those are a little bit tricky to get set up. But once you do, you're good. Now, I mainly bought this as, first of all, just to have it because it's cool, but also because uh, a lot of G-Shocks are now getting Bluetooth and um, they're switching up the screens and I just don't look like how they look. So I wanted to make sure I got this before they stopped making it. I have no idea if they're going to stop making this one, but it is a negative display as you guys can see, which kind of sucks because this is the older version. So it's kind of hard to see unless you're in the perfect lighting conditions, uh, but it is what it is. It is tough solar and has multiband six. So it is good to go there. It's always pretty much charged and it has very accurate timekeeping. So I bought this from Amazon for about 182, 187 bucks. Uh, with tax, it was almost 200. The retail price in Japan for this is 22,000 yen, which is about 200 US dollars. So I got it at a slight discount. I don't know how, but that's how I did it. I also did the same thing for this one. Uh, if you wanna see the video on this one, which is very similar to this one, go check out the review on this one. Uh, it is positive display, no tide or anything, but it's still tough solar and multiband six. Awesome watch. This is probably my favorite watch right now. But I got this one just for a vacation watch that I'll wear a couple times a year when I go to the beach or uh, something like that. Currently, uh, I do not live near a beach or anything like that, so I would not take advantage of the tide graph on there. Now on the back here, if we take a look, very similar to the other one here that I reviewed, just the stainless steel back, nothing special or fancy there, but this one is a little different. So the band on this one, as you guys can see, it's kind of glossy and I, it looks kind of cool, but I like this one better, this matte, this one's more matte and it's a little more pliable. This one is a little stiffer and it is glossy. Also, it makes a very, I don't know, it's just, it's a noise that I don't like. Kind of like nails on a chalkboard or something. It's just the plastic on plastic sound when you're putting it on or off, I don't like it. Um, none of these other ones have that issue. Uh, even, even these ones, since they're matte, they don't have that issue at all. What else? So it's kind of got this dark blue uh, color around the display and it's also filled in here. I think that's dark blue. I have a hard time with dark blues and blacks and purples. Uh, so I'm not for sure, but I think that is kind of a dark blue. This is black right here. It says tough solar. This is in purplish indigo it says G Glide, which is kind of stupid, but I think it's glide. I'd rather just call it glide. And then right here, shock resist, of course, cause it is a G shock. So right now mine is saying that it is high tide somewhere. I don't know where it's set to. Um, the moon phase is almost a new moon I'm trying to show that here. You can't really see it, but it's that circle. And then you've got the date, the September 4th right there. And then the time uh, power save mode is on. It has not received signal cause I just took it out the box, um, but it is pretty close. I set it, uh, it's PM obviously, and daylight savings time is on. Now, if you guys could help me out, I, I'll probably just Google it as soon as I make this video, but I could not find a way to turn on auto illuminescence. This one has it on AEL. I did not see that on here. The good thing is I could set this to three second illuminate. Uh, so you won't be able to see it, but if I press the light button, it glows kind of a greenish and it can go for three seconds. This one is more of a blue. So I like the blue better, but it is what it is. But yeah, this is really a surfer's watch. It's made for surfing. Uh, it kind of stands out a little bit, which probably helps if you ever drop it in the ocean. A lot of people probably don't think about that, but if you have a black watch, it's a lot harder to find uh, than a white one. If it drops in, uh, you'll probably see it a little easier. I blacked out buttons on the side, which look really cool. Uh, it's got obviously tied in the moon. It's just very well made. And I think that the reason they put this uh, kind of gloss on it, first of all, is because it probably repels water a little bit more and if you're in the ocean, that's what you want. Also, it probably shows a little less wear and tear in you know, salt water conditions. So if I scroll through all the functions and then I go back to the main time here, it says Atlantic City. So I'm assuming that's where it's set to for the tides. I'm not for sure. Uh, I'll have to check on that. But once that goes away, you can go back into your modes. Here we've got, we can see the tide for different times. I'm trying to tilt this so you guys can see it. Then we've got the world timer, the alarms, stopwatch, timer, and then we're back to the beginning. I think it has hourly chime. Yes, it does with a signal that would light up. It is on high battery somehow. Uh, I guess it was charging in its <laughs> box for two weeks because um, it last received signal on, on the 26th of August, if you guys can see that, at 12.02. So I assume that's when it left the factory in 
Japan. So yeah, this is just a really solid watch and I'm going to be using this, like I said, on vacation. So this is gonna be my vacation watch or uh, just whenever I wanna wear it, but this will probably still stay my daily cause it's easier to read, but I'll definitely give you guys updates on these, like how they do. And if I end up preferring this one over this one, but right now I do really like this matte band and just the blue colors, but this looks so badass, like straight up the black screen. I love the negative display. It looks so cool. Not the most usable, um, but I can definitely get used to it. It's not that bad. So this has been an overview. So if I didn't go into as much detail as you wanted, uh, sorry, but usually with, with these G-Shock videos, I usually go to people's videos. I don't really care what they say. I just want to see the watch. And hopefully I've shown you guys how this one looks. Um, definitely a good find. It is on Amazon. I will drop a link down below. Uh, at least at the time of filming. I wouldn't pay more than 200 bucks for this unless you really want it, but I'll drop a link to where I bought it and hopefully it'll be a good price like I got. But before we go, I do need to put this on wrist, of course. What kind of watch video would this be? So I like it on the one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the one I like it on for my other one. So yeah, that, that weird plasticky sound. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I don't like it. So here it is on wrist. Six and a half, seven inch wrist, I don't know, somewhere in there. Um, it fits, It'll. this will fit pretty much anyone. Um, it's got so many notches and it's not super big. But yeah, that's how it looks. I think it looks so good. Um, just kind of a badass watch. So check it out, guys. Links to it down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like the video, hit it with a big thumbs up. Peace.